What's up guys, it's Sam and Cheese here, back with another video, and on today's video, I was showing you guys how to make an advanced clicker game in Scratch 3.0. Now this is part 2 of the series, so if you haven't seen part 1 already, check the top right corner of your screen and you'll see a little info card with part 1. And let's get started with part 2. I just finished theming all the buttons and doing the backdrop. First thing you want to do is make a new sprite, and this will be the auto clicker, so just make a quick rectangle box, and all you want to do is just write in some text, auto clicker. Once you finish your auto click your button, all you want to do is just go to events, one green flag click, looks, clear, graphic effects, go to front layer, looks, grab a high block, then go to control, grab a forever, then grab a if then else block, put that there, go to forever, if sensing, touching, mouse pointer, say, hello, and if not touching mouse pointer, if else, then say, just nothing now what you want to do is you just want to change this hello to saying this is an auto clicker and every one second you'll gain one click um this is a one-time purchase and it's blank amount for example this is what i'm saying this is 100 dollars. every one second you gain one tree and this is a one-time purchase next if you open up your shop all you want to do is you just want to find a good x and y position for example i like this bottom left corner so i'm just gonna go to motion now Go to X, I see this is negative 124, and then Y minus 101. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to when I receive, shop close, looks, hide, then go into events, when I receive, changes to new message, $100 auto clicker, go to control forever, looks, hide, set ghost effect to 100 make sure to put that hide block in the forever loop then go back into events grab a when the sprite clicked and when i receive changes to shop open looks show drag that right there now what you want to do is when the sprite clicked control grab an if else block go to variables grab two equal blocks and one or block put the equal blocks in the or block then you want to go into operators, grab one of these blocks, an equal block, and an or block. Put all of these inside the or block. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to variables, if clicks equals 100, or 100 is greater than clicks, put that in the when this right clicked, if then else block. And for the top loop, all you want to do is just go to change, changes to clicks by negative 100, looks, hide then go to control forever put that under the hide wait one second change go into variables clicks by one then go to events broadcast 100 dollars auto clicker now for the else portion all you want to do is just go to stop changes to this script and put that in the else portion and this is your first auto clicker power up. So, so if I go to shop and I hover over auto clicker, it tells me information about the auto clicker. Once you have 100 clicks, if you go to shop and you try to buy the auto clicker, as you can see, it gives me one click per second and it's not there anymore. Next thing, all you have to do is just duplicate the auto clicker sprite two times. Go to the one you duplicated and change it to $500 for the say. And once you have duped the auto clicker, just go to the one you duplicated. And as you can see, this will be the $500 version. So if clicks equal 500, or if 500 is greater than clicks, change clicks by minus 500, wait 0 0.2 seconds, broadcast new message, cash $500 auto clicker. And then what you want to change is when I receive $500 auto clicker, set goes effect to 100, hide. And then what you want to do is you just want to change the message so I'm making it $500. Every one second, gain five trees. And this is also a one-time purchase. Last thing you want to do for the sprite is just hit the green flag, go to shop, and try to find the right auto clicker. So for example, I'm just going to change the X to mi minus 170 so I can find it. So now if I click on shop, as you can see, this is the one. I'm going to undo the when the sprite clicks so, so I can move it and find a good X and Y position. For example, right here is fine, so I'm going to reattach the one the sprite clicked, and I'm just going to type in the X and Y coordinates into my correct auto clicker sprite. So I go to X12, Y minus 101. 
This is the same thing. We will be changing everything, but this time it's one thousand dollars. So make sure it says one thousand dollars every one second. Gain ten trees, and this is also a one-time purchase. Set ghost effect to hundred. Hide. Then when the sprite clicked, if clicks equal one thousand, or one thousand is greater than clicks, then change clicks by negative one thousand. Forever. Wait zero point one seconds. Change clicks by one. Broadcast. $1,000 auto clicker broadcast $1,000 auto clicker and then all we have to do is just find another good X and Y position so I'm just gonna do the same thing detach the one the sprite clicked go to X negative 170 so I can find the right one as you can see this is the right one I'm going to drag it right here I think this is a good spot so I'm going to do go to X 141 Y minus 101 retach the one the sprite clicked and if I test it by going to shop as you can see all my auto clickers are here. I just fixed up some art and now everything's looking good. Now for our final power up, this will be wh when you click the tree, instead of getting one click, you will get two. All you have to do is make a new sprite, go to the rectangle tool, make a rectangle, go to the text tool, make plus one click per click. So plus one CPC. So if I, so if I make it black and I increase the size, as you can see, mine just says plus one CPC. So if I go to code, so first thing you want to do is go to events. When I receive, make a new message, call it plus one CPC, then put in parentheses $100. Go to forever, looks, hide, set ghost effect to 100. Go to events, when I receive, grab two of these blocks, shop open and shop closed, set shop open to show shop close to hide and then what you can do is just go to one of your auto clicker sprites and drag into the say script just into your new plus one cpc script and all you have to do is just remove the x and y coordinates and just change the message for example my message is 100 dollars add another click when you click one time purchase and all you have to do is just find a good x and y coordinates press shop and i'm going to do the top left corner for example, I like that, but I think the size is too big, so I'm just going to go quickly change the size to make sure it fits. Just like that, I think is good, so I'm going to reposition the size, and I think like that's good, so I'm going to go to motion, go to X minus 133, Y 115, and I have the first script done for this. Then what you want to do is you want to go to events, when the sprite clicked, go to control, and what you want to do is you want to grab a if then else block, and in the else portion you just put stop this script, but in the if then portion you want to do operators, grab an or block, grab this block, and grab an equals block, and put variables if clicks equals 100, or if 100 is greater than clicks drag that in there then what is going to do is change clicks by minus 100 looks hide control forever put this under the hide block if inside the if grab an operators or block sensing mouse down in one of the or blocks and then the other one Touching changes to sprite one or the sprite that you click. Events broadcast plus one CPC one hundred dollars. Variables change clicks by one. Control wait until operators not sensing. Wait until not mouse down. Then all you have to do is just duplicate this two more times, just like we did with the auto clicker sprite. And all you have to do is just change the sprite's values. So for example, for the $500 click, all you have to do is just change these values to $500, change clicks by negative 500, broadcast, do plus one CPC, parentheses, $500. Then what you want to do is just change clicks by one, keep that the same. This is all the same now, this is good plus one cpc five hundred dollars and all you have to do is just change this number value to five hundred dollars make sure to also change the x and y value so go to one green flag clicked go to x minus 170 
shop as you can see this is the one that i need so i'm going to detach the one that sprite collect and move it to a good spot so for example i think this is good so i'm just going to type in the x and y coordinates now drag the one that sprite click code back on and now if i test it if i go to shop as you can see it's working just fine now if i go to the last power up sprite as you can see all i have to do is just make a new message plus one cpc and this is the thousand dollar one so thousand dollars okay i just have to change everything now so say one thousand dollars add another click when you click one time purchase if clicks equals one thousand or one thousand is greater than clicks then change clicks by negative one thousand if touching your sprite or mouse down broadcast plus one cpc one thousand dollars change clicks by one wait until not mouse down make sure to change the x and y again so i'm just doing minus 180 find the right cpc so this is the one drag it over here and i think that's a good x and y position retach the one that's right clicked and just type in the x and y coordinates final thing you want to do is in one of these sprites just go to variables set clicks to zero and now you are officially done if something isn't working let me know in the comments down below and link your scratch project and i'll try to help you the best i can and that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to check out my Scratch Tutorials playlist. There's an info card at the top right corner of your screen right now saying Scratch Tutorials, and you can watch a ton more. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Peace out.